The price tag for an orthopedic surgery unit expected to be built in the Lloyd Minster Hospital will be roughly $2 million. The projected budget was approved by the Prairie North Health Region Board this afternoon. CEO David Fan says it's estimated the cost to equip the board, the ward rather, would be a million dollars plus an additional million to staff it. Over the past year, we've been um, you know, putting on, uh, all the pieces together for the orthopedic program uh, in the context of the staffing budget, uh, what kind of skill sets do we need in terms of uh, our nursing staff, uh, you know, physiotherapists and occupational therapists and all the other support staff that go with it. Lloyd Minster currently doesn't have an orthopedic unit, so anyone requiring surgery has to head out of town. An orthopedic surgeon has moved to the border city, but Fan says not to expect a big change right away. He will be available sometime, but other time people may still be expected to um, you know, travel or be uh, transferred out of the city. Not until we have more orthopedic surgeons, which likely will take us a few years to get there. Now that the board has approved operating costs, Fan says the next step is to get funding from both the Alberta and Saskatchewan governments. Well, another current councillor has thrown his name in the ring for re-election. Larry Sauer announced today he's vying for another term on council. Sauer has served one three-year term as a councillor and believes the during the experience, it's been a valuable asset. I feel that I have that experience and I know more about it, have more knowledge about how this works, that I feel I can contribute positively to making the city, the, the city grow but also go further ahead. And he's still eager to work with council on the things it's looking to achieve. I knew that there are things that I still want to see continued, and I know there's going to be things that come up uh, that we're going to have to deal with. That always is the case. The last day to throw your name in the mix to run for council is September 19th, and voters head to the poll October 24th. Stiffer drunk driving penalties in Alberta are almost here. Starting Saturday, the next phase of the impaired driving law will take effect. Stefan Kachmar explains what the amped up changes are. Drivers caught with a blood alcohol level of 0 0.05 and 0 0.08 can expect to see their car seized for three days and a three day license suspension. Some still think the penalties aren't strict enough. We should actually have a zero tolerance. I think if we had zero tolerance there'd be less impaired driving less deaths less accidents less everything and it would actually be a better influence on the younger people it's not safe at all to do you know hire a cab or walk home if you're going to leave a bar and it's just safe think before you drive before this next phase those who blew over 0 0.05 and 0 0.08 only received the 24-hour license ban this saturday that changes corporal dave kadoon insists social drinkers are not the target the social drinkers are the people that go out, they have a beer uh, with their dinner. Okay? The one beer is not going to affect a person uh, like it will be who the ones who go to the lounges and they have one after another after another. Okay? Those are the ones that are going to be the problems. The best way to avoid being caught? Just use common sense. You may not think that you feel um, impaired, but the body, uh, the reaction time is what uh, is the real factor. And people have to understand, driving a motor vehicle, you need to have that reaction time. Stefan Kachmar, UCAP News. Some good news for the Bonneville Regional Fire Authority. It's finally started the first phase of its new training facility. Until now, the BFRA spent thousands sending firefighters away to receive the proper training. But now the four-story structure will be used to help certify local firefighters at a fraction of the cost. The building is designed to be able to do high-angle rope rescue training. Uh, as well as uh, standpipe and sprinkler training for the larger buildings that are starting to pop up in all of our municipalities. And this is just the beginning for the facility. Plans are in place to expand to help train for more industrial fires. Two of this project will include uh, all of the industrial fire props necessary to train firefighters to respond to emergencies in heavy oil facilities uh, like we have throughout this area. Crew's first training session is later in September.
Now, if you want to keep up to date with all of the latest local news, Newcap Television has officially launched its new Facebook page. All you have to do is click the like button for access to all of that latest local news. You can post your pictures, comments, and find all of our daily newscasts on the site by simply logging onto that address right there on your screen.